We were based in London in 1989. We started up a little Latin record store in Berwick Street Market. We moved around Lexington Street, Soho again, started up a hip hop store. Then things got interesting, moved to Poland Street, and now we moved to Brighton. And I've always been looking for a, a kind of site to, you know, to re kind of do the store again, but in a different way. Initially, we're just like a record label, and we thought, why don't we just put a shop down here? So we, we transformed the whole bo bottom, of the, bottom of the office block we bought into a shop. We put some nice wooden panelling in there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you around. Yeah, so whereas in Soho, the old shops, the hip hop shop was a kind of bit rough and ready. It was very urban, grimy kind of place. We try to make this into a more kind of boutique -y shop to reflect the clientele change as well, because people buying records now, they want things presented well, they want the records to be, you know, a much better production kind of quality. So we've kind of tried to lay it out so we've got all the stock here and you can see some of the records. You can see how much stock we've got. Nothing on the walls, like the old shop would just be tons of hip hop records on the walls and lots of display, but we tried to get get away from that and just keep people focused on the racks. In the shop we just represent the bongo sound but also anything we just find is interesting so it could be new records, old records, get some lot of second hand stock. Dave just got a lot from Brazil. It didn't always have to be Brazilian African, it's like sometimes like a local band might bring a record in and it catches our ear, we'll use that and mostly I guess within the soul, funk, African, the shop gives us a bit of a broader crowd, you know, it's a taste of music. Another great new reissue label out of London. His first record out, and that's what way to start a record like that. And he's, he's got some other great ones lined up. You know, and we found that in the shop, this um, is perfect. It cuts across disco, people like it, house people like it. After, you know, people were into world music and contacted us. Said they've got a new project. It's like a real nice, mellow Brazilian jazz record. Young guys, just a, again, a private press record. So that's like a perfect record for us in the shop. This is Arthur Verakai, holy grail kind of record. I know everyone says that. Mad Lib wakes every morning and listens to this record. And we took a long time to track down the original tapes. We got Arthur to master them himself and remix it down. It's a record that's opened a lot of people's eyes to different kind of jazz flavours in Brazilian music, which people haven't really touched on. It. Whereas a lot, of, a lot of the time people want something a bit like this, a little bit more kind of hipper. Um, Kate and I sampled one of the tracks on here, and this is why we issued this great record by Gal Costa India. When it came out, it was banned, obviously, because of the cover. That's what we're trying to do with the reissues, is trying to find records that appeal to a quite a wide variety. These two are records that really have crossed over to different genres and, and have opened Brazilian music up for people.